Welcome back. If you've ever been on Marshall University's campus, you have seen the iconic fountain that graces the Student Center Square. Well, now there it is there's an exhibit in Huntington that honors that sculpture. And in tonight's Good News with 13, reporter Natalie Wattis gets the background on what the fountain really means to the university. You know, the water flowing. It's about life. The sculptor said it's for the living, you know, but remembering those who passed on. This fountain honors the 75 victims of the tragic plane crash involving Marshall University's football team in 1970. Now, the Huntington Museum of Art is hosting an exhibit to commemorate the sculptor himself. It contains early designs, notes, and other works by Harry Bertoya. This is a show we did of uh, Harry Bertoya, who created the Marshall University Memorial Fountain and you know the timing is right because it's the 50th anniversary of the plane crash. Bertoya was commissioned to create this sculpture two years after the crash as a way to memorialize the dead. It was a fairly controversial project at the time. A lot of the athletic department staff wanted a football player or a bison to represent the fallen. Despite being controversial at first, people quickly warmed up to the design of this sculpture, and now it's one of the most visited locations on Marshall's campus. You know, I'd make the case that this is the most appreciated public sculpture in the state. And for those who roam this campus, this exhibit proves that Marshall's legacy is an integral part of this community's legacy. In conjunction with that exhibit, I really think that it exemplifies uh, our strong ties to the community. Uh, you know, what, what Huntington experienced, what Marshall experienced, it was, it was hand in hand. And the Huntington community has consistently lifted up our campus and we've helped them as well. So that exhibit really demonstrates that bond that we share. A bond immortalized in bronze and on display anew for the public. In Huntington, I'm Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. And the Harry Bertoya exhibit will run through January 3rd. And if you've never had a chance to go by the sculpture, there really is just a feeling of awe when you go by there. Now, for tickets and more information, just go to our website, wwktv.com. Look for Natalie's story.